So obviously you want to use a clock, you want to use the, the iPhone, the iPod Touch, uh, 273, uh, TikTok, TikTok, take the cover off the front clock and uh, start, so just start talking, different modes of talking. Um, you want to be formal uh, to an extent where you could be understood, uh, to an extent where uh, yeah, you could engage with a common platform. Sort of uh, taken for granted temporarily. Tell with duration. We want to address the significance or insignificance of duration in art making, art presenting, uh, presenting of art forms, the formation of presentations, uh, and uh, yeah, lecture slash performance, lecture performance. It's, yeah, regarding uh, many different issues, but uh, kind of coming from the same gut philosophy that I've been working on for the past five years, namely John Cage. Uh, not John Cage, although a lot of it stems from him, and I stole much from him, um, but rather John's Cage. Yeah. Not necessarily John, John Cage's cage, but the cage of John, the cage that um, is present to me uh, as a uh, practitioner of art and music. I want to think about my practitioning not based on my medium alone. I think it gets very tricky very fast if we start um, you know, starting to identify uh, myself by my medium because then that becomes a platform. But what I don't want to do is to have the medium as a platform to engage with others. I want instead um, the mode of being, the existential experience uh, for the viewer, for the friend, for the colleague that I'm hoping to reach, you know, so to speak, here. And, uh, you know, so it shouldn't it matter what kind of practice, it shouldn't matter what your medium is, you know, uh, I hope for that engagement uh, to be um, maximally efficient and, and successful, to use the words from last class. Uh, I'm actually recording this at 5.37 p.m. Uh, on the way home uh, on an iPhone and the sound recorder, the app, I guess. And I'm stuck in traffic between the, the, the roads of uh, White Canyon Road and Stillmore Street uh, in Canyon Country, uh, Valencia-ish type area. Uh, it's sort of like a Tri-Cities area. I guess you can compare it to Vancouver where I'm from. They also have their own Tri-Cities area. Uh, it's called Tri-Cities. Uh, uh, Port Moody, Port Coquillum, Port Coquillum. There's three different towns that are sort of, uh, uh, you know, neighboring one another in the hills, in the mountains. And uh, it's interesting to think about the, the, you know, how, you know, one could even think of uh, the city structure, the layout of the city, the city planning, urban planning, and, and, and to kind of abstract that and use that as a model for understanding an, another city. You know, I'm, I'm new to the city of LA. I spent a good seven years uh, in Boston, and before that, I was actually from Vancouver, Canada. Um, and it's interesting that I say Vancouver, Canada, because usually I say Vancouver, BC, but nobody knows where British Columbia is. <laughs> So, um, you know, so the, the problem of context, I guess, is, is of interest to me because uh, as a Hong Kong born uh, Canadian immigrant slash citizen now moved to the U.S. on a temporary green card that recently expired seven days ago, um, but I do have a one year whatever extension. Uh, yeah, what does that make me? Was that how does that influence my identity as a person, as a citizen, as an artist, as a human being? Uh, so we talk a lot about being human beings, you know, in our class, uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's it's definitely worth talking about, worth addressing some more. As long as we stay human, as long as we are human, as long as we be human, I think it is. Uh, it behooves us to continue in this dialogue and this discourse. Um, and so I, I'm coming from a, a, a standpoint that, yeah, I'd like to address artistic matters um, based on the human standpoint, based on 
uh, the human experience and that may or may not include sound and music and noise uh, and you know we can define these in a moment but I'm also interested in uh, and what's more interesting to me actually is time the effects of time uh, and uh, the, the impact that it has on our art making uh, relative uh, approximately four minutes ago I mentioned uh, the, the issue of duration and uh, you know if we simply think of it for five, now six, as you know, five, uh, getting five, from eight, A to B, five, point nine, A to point six, B, six, uh, regardless nine, of how you six, go, two, you know, straight six, line around three, the circle, six, the, the four, bending six, of the five, paper, six, the Einstein six, way or whatever. Six, um, six, eight, why do we always go to Einstein, you know? But but back to the duration seven, part, uh, seven, five, you know, seven, A to B, I think seven, it's interesting seven, because eight, it's an easy seven, platform eight, to work off of for me in terms of music and a composition and taking in maybe even a performance of sorts because everything is time based and I started to see you know all kinds of art forms as a time based performance so in a sense you know everything is time based art but if everything's everybody's special no one is local um, that's another thing but um, tangents are necessary in order to make us aware of the subject that we're getting at and, um, in performance and improvisatory performance uh, in specifically speaking I think it's, uh, tangents can be great because it kind of sheds light upon what matters you know and uh, it, it's, it's almost like you're living in the moment and you are living in the moment and so you uh, actively engage with uh, the present duration ahead of you, uh, in front of you, beside you, behind you, and uh, keeping that in mind, that's the kind of state, I think, that the most uh, uh, successful, to use that word again, uh, performances that I've encountered, I've felt that is, is the best use of the duration. Now, when you think about duration, we obviously think about time and clock time, you know, and, 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 and it's interesting and it's necessary, I feel like, and my studies is that uh, um, to distinguish one, between two, time one, six, and clock three, time one, six, and power, clock. One, six, five, and uh, one, six, this tri-city mindful, one, six, I guess, one, mind, mindset uh, uh, set up uh, template, one, you know, so to speak, three, one, seven, uh, one, can be applied five, to one, six, noise, one, music, and sound. One, seven, eight, uh, I thought of that just nine, now. I, one, I think one, that one, this one, kind of threefold manner of thinking of time, clock time, and time, clocks actually yeah it does correlate to the noise music and sound because it's a dealing with natural phenomena or if you believe time doesn't exist good for you but it's yeah it's dealing with you know a natural phenomenon that Two, one, nine, two, two, uh, zero, yeah, that that is there, that is existing, and then you have. Um, so I, I like to categorize my gut philosophy of, of everything into two separate categories, where uh, one is HIS, the other is NES. HIS stands for um, humanly imposed system, and NES stands for naturally existing system. So you either, uh, if you're thinking, if you're reacting, acting towards, against. Uh, whatever uh, uh, phenomenon before you, uh, you either see it as a naturally existing system or you see it as a humanly imposed system. So take a, like, um, a naturally existing ex uh, system would be air, you know, would be air and then would be uh, atoms. Uh, but we didn't know atoms were atoms until we humanly imposed the word atoms to the atoms. And so Power, that is five, also uh, an six, HIS. Seven, and so a lot of times these these guys nine, are intertwined one, zero, and they one, get very one, fuzzy one, two, too. You know, you can't one, really three, tell one from one the other. Power, but I think it, one, it kind five, of helps one, six, clarify one, seven, um, the state one, eight, of reality nine, nine, uh, in terms two, zero, of time and being two, one, and as two, far two, as whatever two, three, extent two, we understand two, five, it for the time two, being. Six, two, um, seven, 
uh, and it may change. Yeah, who knows? But uh, it probably will change at some point, uh, some point uh, in duration, uh, so to speak. Uh, in any case, um, back to the Tri City um, kind of mindful of noise, music, and sound uh, as compared to clock time and clock time. Um, I don't know which corresponds to which, but as we write it on the whiteboard, I think it'll be a little more clearer. Um, but you know, we have time and we have. Five, um, eight, five, nine, uh, uh, sound six, zero, six, as one, kind of six, two, as six, three, far six, on the six, NES six, spectrum five, as six, possible, six, you know, naturally six, existing seven, material, six, so to six, speak, nine, uh, seven, waiting to be quantified seven, by human beings, seven, so to speak, uh, seven, three, to impose seven, our, our systems seven, and perceptions seven, upon seven, them. Seven, um, seven, and eight, the, seven, nine, eight, yeah, zero, and then we have clock, eight, one, and eight, we have eight, three, um, eight, four, music. Eight, five, Eight six, eight seven, um, eight eight, eight nine. Nine zero nine one yeah. nine two. Um, nine, so it has to be like nine, music is organized nine, sound. Five, you know, Cage nine, um, six, defined nine, that seven, in his nine, feature eight, of music credo. Nine, nine, uh, 1937, one hundred, four, one zero, I can't remember the year, but uh, nineteen forty one. Um, I yeah, it, it has to do with um, you know, the, the quantification. So you're organizing sound. Well, there's two elements to that. You know, in the defini definition of music is you know you've got the music, you've got the sound, organized sound, but but you've got the sound and you've also got the organizing of the sound. The organizing is dealing with time, is the mani mani manipulation, the, the, the use of the duration that you're given. And that also goes hand in hand with the sound with which one is organizing. Um, but um, music with that definition in mind is a human imposed system. And, uh, and as is clock, the clock. The, the clock was a way for in our civilization to make sense and, and be able to predict and organize uh, a, 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 a sort of otherwise floaty and unreachable uh, uh, reality phenomenon. Um, and, but I think at some point, you know, through the, the industrialized age, the machine age or whatever, um, depending on what kind of stream of history you follow, um, Lewis Mumford talks a lot about this uh, in Techniques and Civilization, uh, and as well as uh, Interpretations and Forecasts, in his, uh, the other book, the compilation of it. Uh, he uh, talks about, you know, there was a time where, you know, clocks were clocks, and they were not time. I feel like these days we associate the clock with time and our struggle against time, um, but it itself is not time. You know, it, it, sometimes we kind of interchange them place one for the other but music is not sound uh, period so to speak. You know, sound is not music period there's a lot of contingency things at play it depends on depends if depends uh, uh, depends on nothing um, it's uh, yeah it really depends you know and, and so it's always in flux you never know what you're going to say next uh, yeah. Two, three, nine, two, four, zero, two, so we're talking about one, more two, about yeah two, the relations three, between two, these two, two, uh, two, two uh, uh, threefold uh, uh, organisms, two, if you may, or zero, concepts, two, or dynamics. Two, five, actually, two, uh, we yeah, I think it's quite two, fascinating two, five, seven, um, to two, five, eight, kind of draw two, the parallels, two, six, and, and it doesn't have to be six, perfect one, parallels. Two, two, six, um, three, two, six, uh, but but yeah, it's just you know what 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 it is, and I think that's a form of organization and this itself is a piece obviously um, I'm recording this accidentally you know as a way to take notes at the beginning I was hoping to take some notes and I was driving I didn't want to be typing in my phone so I just you know talked into it and then now it's turning into a piece so how does a rehearsal blend itself into a performance is that a form another form of HIS or is it um, along a different gradient, you know, uh, so to speak.
uh, framing, framing uh, the different ways of, you know, you want something to be portrayed and seen and heard and experienced. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm very interested in. Um, it's easy to get lost, as you can see, when you just keep talking without any kind of structure, so to speak. That's very ev uh, evident, you know, uh, from the outset. And so if I were to go back in time 14 minutes and 39 seconds ago to, um, to the beginning of this talk, this rant, this idea starter, um, and start measuring it from the then until now, which is now 14 minutes and 55 seconds, 66, 56, 57, 58, 59, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84.